welcome to my no sew bow pillow tutorial and happy crafty friday today on sew craftastic i'm going to show you how to make two different types of bow pillows there's this one which is a motorcycle that's all right this is a motorcycle for your whole life you have been deceived there's this method where you use a square pillow and this one where you use a rectangular pillow and then the whole thing is just a squishy little bow and i have this one too this one totally blends in on camera. Technically, I'm showing you how to make bow pillow cases because I bought pillows from the store and covered them with fabric. But either way, they're really cute and easy. I guess we'll just make this intro short and sweet. So before we get into the tutorial, I want you guys to know that I made tutus in my previous video. So if you haven't seen that one, go ahead and check it out. And without further ado, let's get into making some bows. I'm about to show you how to make these adorable no-sew bow pillow covers. Of course, sewing is the best, most effective way to hold fabric together, but if you don't have a sewing machine and you don't want to sew by hand because let's be honest, ain't nobody got time for that, then these no-sew methods are perfect for you and from far away people won't even know that you didn't sew it. Just to be safe, I asked for one and a half yards of each type of fabric. The exact amount of fabric you need will depend upon the size of the pillow you get, but it's always better to have too much fabric than not enough. So don't worry about what I'm doing here when I'm covering and uncovering the pillow, I'm just figuring out how much fabric I need and if I need to trim it. Here you can see I'm cutting the fabric down to size because a yard and a half was a little bit too much, but that's fine. For my 18 by 18 inch pillow, I ended up cutting my fabric down to 44 inches, so it's 44 by 44. And if you need an inch to centimeter converter, just search Google for that to help you out. This step is completely optional, but my fabric is pretty wrinkly, so I'm going to get out my ironing board and iron it to just get out most of the wrinkles. You don't have to be perfect with this, but it will make it look a lot better. Once it's ironed, I'm going to lay it out again, and I'm going to flip it so that the right side or the pattern is facing down, so you want the lighter, not decorated side to be facing up. Center your pillow and then you're going to bring the top part, just fold the top part down and fold the bottom part up. At this point I like to add some hem tape. If you don't want to you can just skip to the next step after that but I'm going to show you how to use the hem tape. Basically you just put it along the edge of your fabric about an inch or two in and then you fold the fabric over it so that it's completely covered and you iron over it. You can do this to just one side of the fabric or to both just to give it more of a finished look. I put the fabric back again and this time I'm really going to cover it so the pillow is centered and I have the top part of it folded down to the middle and then the bottom part of the fabric that I put the hem tape on I'm just going to fold up to the middle. Just try to make sure that the line where the fabric meets is in the middle of the pillow as in the middle as you can get it to be. A little disclaimer, I like to secure my fabric a little bit more to the pillow so I tried with the pink pillow to use the hem tape but after I finished I realized that the hem tape doesn't really work to hold fabric down so it's actually peeling off now. So I'm showing you a clip from this black and white pillow of the glue that I used that works a lot better. So if you do want to give it a little bit more stability, use glue instead of the hem tape just to connect the fabric. Using it for the hem is actually fine. It will be fine because the hem is on the inside. Moving back onto the pink one, you can just disregard me using the hem tape to kind of hold it down better because like I said, I don't like it. But I'm going to move on to the sides and you just want to fold this as nicely as you possibly can and take your time with it. You can see that if you don't like the way that it's laying when you fold it, then you can just unfold it and try again. 
I'm using a little rubber band to secure what I've done. This is optional, but it's so much easier when you move on to the next step just to hold it in place temporarily. Once you've done one side of the pillow, you're just going to repeat the same exact folding process with the other side of the pillow. And again, if you don't like the way it folds, you can just try again until you do. You just kind of pull it like a ponytail, like when you're doing your hair. You just want there to be some nice lines going through the bow. And I'm just going to secure that with a little hair tie guy. And something else that is completely optional is to just trim a little bit of the fabric on the inside if, you know, it's making it too bulky or not fold the right way. And I'm showing you here that you can use adhesive to secure the sides down to the pillow better, but I would recommend, highly recommend the glue as opposed to the hem tape for these steps. Once your sides are secured, if you wish, and your rubber bands are on and everything, then you can grab some embroidery floss, preferably floss or string that matches your pillow color, your fabric color, and you are going to just tie that tightly around, make a few knots. Trim a little bit of the fabric off if it's too long, you don't have to. And then another optional step that might help is to use a little bit of glue for this part just to hold the middle pieces together while you tie it up. The final step is to add the band around the middle of the bow. For this, you'll want your fabric to be at least 8 inches by 5 inches. It's okay if it's bigger than that, you can trim it down, but we're going to use the hem tape again. You'll definitely want finished edges for this so it doesn't fray, so I'm just using the hem tape like I showed you earlier, and I'm going to put it on both sides of the strip. Then I'm just going to take my strip, and with the seam facing up, you're going to put that underneath the tie in the middle and then wrap it around, secure it with the glue, so any permanent fabric glue will work for this. And make sure that it's long enough to wrap the end of it around to the back so you don't see the seam on the front, so I'm just putting a little bit more glue to secure that to the back. And then bam, you're done. Just put something heavy on it while it dries so it stays in place, and bada bing bada boom, it's a bobo, bow pillow, bobo. <laughs> Oh my gosh. Moving on to the second type of bow pillow. This one is a rectangular pillow and mine is 13 inches by 18 inches. For this, my fabric is 33 by 41 inches. And then I also am cutting a strip that's about 6 inches by 31 inches. And you'll need another piece of scrap fabric to tie around the middle. So that can be any width or length that you want. It can be kind of skinny. This pillow is really easy, you're just going to fold to make sure that the fabric fits the pillow right and then you can add the hem tape if you want, I like to do that. But you're going to fold the top and bottom down and then the sides over to the middle. Make sure that it's the exact middle so it just works out better that way and looks nicer at the end. Take your skinny piece of fabric, it should be a long skinny piece, and you're going to tie that tightly around the middle and you'll want the knot to be on the back of your pillow. Then I have my strip. It can be any width that you want, but I have it hemmed on the sides to give it clean edges. And then I'm just going to wrap that around and make sure that you put the seam on the back and then glue it securely. Bam to the bow, to the bang, to the bow, to the bow. If you end up making a bow pillow of your own, then please use hashtag SoCraftastic on Instagram to show me. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, then please like it and subscribe for more videos because I put out a video every single Friday for Crafty Friday and also videos throughout the week sometimes. I'm really distracted because there are wasps outside my window. I know they're not going to come in here, but there's a lot of them. <sighs> Last week on Crafty Friday, I showed you guys how to make a yarn flower. Super pretty, super easy. And they're perfect room decor, so here are the photos that you sent to me using hashtag SoCraftastic on Instagram. And I also received entries on my Facebook fan page and my Twitter as well. So if you're not following me in those places and you want to, go ahead and check out my information in the description box below. Thank you guys so much for sending those photos in, and I hope you guys have a great rest of the day. I'll see you very soon in my next video. Goodbye. Hi. Happy. Welcome. Hi. Bow selfie! Oh, You can't see the bow as much from far away. It's because I actually bought store-bought cut- Is it bought store-bought? Yeah. I bought some stuff from the store and it was store-bought. 
That's why I bought it. <laughs> Department of Redundancy Department. I work there. <laughs> Ooh. As I was saying last week on Crafty Friday, I showed you guys... Oh no, I didn't show you the tutu. I was greatly mistaken. This was a Wednesday video. But you could still watch it. Okay, so I have an itch. If you are wondering, which you probably weren't, I have a little tiny bow on the corner of my eyes with eyeliner. We just have bows everywhere. Bows, 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 and bows. Time and a knock and time and a... Oh, girls just wanna have fun.